Here's one to take a look at. 1953 Ford F100 conventional pickup. As you can see, step side box, also a short box. This particular truck powered by the flathead V8 underneath the hood be a 239 flathead. Um, 8RT version of the flathead, which would be the correct size engine that this would have come with originally. Also interesting paint on this one. I believe this is very similar to Glacier Blue, which would have been a standard color in 1953. And if we take a close look up here at the front bumper, obviously painted black. Nice looking front end on these, and as you can see from the headlight bezels to the grill, this is a good looking front end on this truck yet. Now, original V8 truck, which indeed it was, what it came with a 239. And then as you see there, Ford Omatic, I believe 53 might have been the first year of the Ford Omatic automatic transmission in the F100 series, but I'm not positive on that. Now, if you want to check out the still pictures, so you can see the engine bay, the underside, interior of this truck. Still pictures can be seen at UniqueClassicCars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And, of course, you can always call us to 507-386-1726. 15-inch wheels, Ford wheel covers, and beauty rings. Riding on white wall radial tires. Newer tires, according to the previous owner, also truck is actually restored in 1991 hasn't seen the road a lot but has been taken out for parades car shows roll-ins cruise-ins so it still shows very well um, by looking at the still pictures checking out this video yeah, you'd never guess this thing was restored that long ago it was a nice job and it has been kept nice since take a look at the bed Nice looking oak. Bed also in nice shape. Now remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Dual exhaust coming out of that. 239. It's got a nice little rumble to it for a flatty. The other thing I noticed on this truck when I was picturing it up, and you see pictures of the tailgate up, tailgate down, but how nicely these latches worked. You don't always see that, how they actually latch in, lock up nicely. And those still pictures, you want to see the underside, engine bay, interior, still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video. It's going to take you right there. The truck still has a 6-volt system to it that the heater hose was hooked up I have played around with some accessories on the inside windshield wipers work uh, blower fan for the heater and defrost also working nice bright work on this vehicle also take a look up and down the driver's side here so looked over the passenger side let's take a cl close look at the driver's side also in nice shape I mean, you just don't see a lot of imperfections as far as bubbling from any prior work, dings, dents, scratches, you just don't see a lot. You might find a touch up here or there, but overall, the truck shows very, very nicely. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Bench seat. As you can see, a red and gray combination. Great, great looking combination in this truck. Interior painted to match. Headliner in the gray all matching from the seat. Visors. All right. Now, Adamant Reed's 85,959. It was believed that could have been the original miles before this truck was actually restored. But again, I cannot prove it. Due to the fact the miles do not stay in the title once the vehicle becomes a certain age. Kind of just have to go by what the previous owner has been told and said and passed along the way. Here was your blower and your temp controls. Of course, ignition switch there to turn it on. And your push button start is over on this side. Now the one thing I did notice 
you got to have this in just the right spot and it was easiest for me to start it in neutral so um, when I say just the right spot it's having the I have to move this with my hand the shifter shift indicator the shift lever just in the right spot to get it to fire up there we go sorry about that I just had to just move it ever so slightly so the starter will engage when the button is pushed with that being said here the flatty fired right up sounds nice runs nice door closes and fits nice sounds like a little flatty rumble coming out of the dual exhaust all right let's slip up to the front let's pop the hood let you check out the engine bay and we'll wrap up this video. Look and listen how smooth this thing runs. And quiet. There's that 8RT designation. That would be error correct at 53. Amazing. Very stock looking underneath the hood. Similar to the way this would have been produced and manufactured from Ford. Wow, great sounding engine. Looking for a stock, fun, cool old truck, 1953 Ford F100 conventional pickup, short box step side, Ford Omatic automatic transmission, 239 flathead V8. Give us a call. 507-386-1726, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email.